Ciao everyone, welcome back to a not at all slow fashion video. Oh no, today it's all about the hair. Don't know why I'm holding it this way. I have clearly never done a video on hair before, um, but I think it's time. I've been getting a lot of questions actually and requests to do a video about my hair. If you normally come here for the slow fashion, don't worry, I will go back to slow fashion videos, of course, but I really thought it was time to share my hair care. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So let's just jump on in. My hair is very, very fine, but there's a lot of it. Typically, it's got a very natural wave to it. I really wanted to start at the absolute beginning, which I think has a lot to do with things like genetics and hormones, but also things like nutrition, physical activity, and mental health. I really think that paying attention to all of these things is what culminates in you feeling good about your overall physical appearance. If you're interested in me diving deeper into things that I eat or my fitness schedule, let me know in the comments below. I can always share them on a different platform if that's not something you would like to see here. So that's kind of the foundation, and I really do think it plays a huge part in hair. And I think it's these foundational pieces like long-term maintenance and things like diet and fitness and all that, this is where I invest most of my time and money so that I don't have to do so much on the daily basis. I have a very less is more approach when it comes to um, things like beauty and all that. Probably it's just because I'm lazy. But anyway, I can't talk about hair without talking about the cut and the stylist. I have found it to be life-changing to have found a stylist who understands not only my hair and what looks good with my face shape, but also who understands my lifestyle. My master stylist Fiorella knows that I don't want to have to go into the salon every month or very often, so I only have to go in four times, maybe four or five times a year, and the cut is such that it can be grown out pretty long between salon visits and and still look good. So what she's given me is a long shag. It adds a bit more volume and texture and dimension without weighing down my hair. The other really great piece about this type of cut and the combination of my hair is that it can be dried naturally and still look really good and interesting, but it looks equally good styled. Finally, the actual styling. I'm just going to share how I style my hair with like the big kind of loose waves or curls because that's kind of my go-to style. So the first is I wash my hair and I prep it with this Daviness Milk. I've been using this product ever since my stylist recommended it to me. It's been about four or five years. Daviness is a really great Italian company. I find it really enhances the curl without adding too much weight. And then I just dry my hair with a blow dryer. And about 90% of this is done with my head upside down. I make my hair super, super big and fluffy. And then I take a big barrel curling iron. I think this is like one and a half or two inches. And instead of using it like a traditional curling iron, I use it more like a wand. And again, this is something that my stylist told me about. I'm going to link her information in the description box below. She is based in Ottawa where I live, but if you ever come here, I would super recommend the salon when it's safe to be there. But anyway, take the big barrel curling iron and I wrap my hair around it and then I clamp it down. Normally around the nape of my neck, I'll take really big chunks and around the top of my head, I make sure that I take smaller to medium sized sections of hair so that it really gets a more textured effect. I also make sure that I change the direction of the way I'm wrapping my hair every single time so that again, I think it gives a little bit more texture and it also looks like you have a little bit more volume this way. And then once I'm done that, I just finger comb through the curls so that they don't look so defined. I really like it when they look loose. And once I have like a loose-ish look that I like, I take another Daviness product, which is their Oi Oil. It makes my hair shine and it smooths out any of the frizzies. I should also mention ooh, that I wash my hair with the Daviness shampoo. I use their regular standard love shampoo. It's just for regular hair, but they do have different lines for 
different types of hair. So you can definitely check those out. So that's it. That is my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful for all of those of you who are asking about my hair. And I hope you don't mind that I included all of that sort of foundational stuff like the health and mental well-being because I really, really do think that is just so important. Anyway, uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below or let me know if you have any special hair care tips that you would love to share. Um, pop them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will be back with a proper slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Ciao!